Yes. Um, yes, ma'am. Yes, I think it's a lot of hogwash. You do. Tell me. <laughs> Just what I said. Now, that's what they said. That's what they said about the Lord, you know, when he came down. Oh, come, come on, you're not going to equate the Lord with this ooh ooh ah stuff. <laughs> We chanted, huh? Uh, has there ever been a re now? She. Has there ever been a religion that we didn't laugh at, make fun of, ridicule? Long. Well, think about it. Remember the Shakers in England? You know they used to shake. They threw them in jail. Threw them in jail. The thing I like to say is, don't knock what you haven't tried. Once you've tried a healing and it's worked, then suddenly you know you begin to understand what we're doing. Yvonne and Gavin Frost are witches and they've been joined by Professor Walter Martin. We've asked uh, Professor Martin to be here. You are director of Christian Research Institute, uh, which is, uh, which is, <laughs> <laughs> what does the institute do? We specialize in getting material together on the cults and the occult and one of those happens to be witchcraft, which is why I'm here. Yeah, how do you feel about all this, Professor? Well, uh, I listened to this and uh, there was a very direct attack upon Christianity and also upon the person of Jesus Christ. And that has been historically the case in the conflict between witchcraft and Christianity. And I would like to say, as long as it's spontaneous and we get our say in this area, I don't object to Gavin and his wife practicing their religion. But I think that when they try and somehow or other give the impression that this is some bona fide thing that's going to go along with other religions or like another denomination or something like that, from its beginning, witchcraft has been occultic. It has always been associated with Satan. And whether a person, no, whether, no, well, let no. me finish, let me finish. No, whether I will a, not abide that. Well, I have Go to finish. Ahead now. Okay. Go ahead, I've finish. made my statement. It has historically been connected with Satan. That does not mean that a person in witchcraft automatically is demon possessed or anything like that. It simply means that a person can be honest and sincere and dedicated and absolutely wrong. And the Judeo-Christian religion is opposed vigorously to witchcraft as a form of Satanism. Well, I think they're upset about your reference to Satan because they see Satan as a Christian invention. Mm -hmm. Satan is the Antichrist and they don't believe in Christ. So they certainly, they say, cannot believe in Satan. Well, you have to go back a little bit further than that. Yeah. Satanism goes back to the book of Job in the, in the Bible, which is a oh, very, very old yeah. book, which antedates all of the things they're talking about. No, no it doesn't. No, it does Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You haven't the done cave your homework, paintings Dr. in Martin. Spain well, uh, way before. <laughs> okay, uh, hang on a minute. Yes, I think I have done my homework. That's why I'm here. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but what has to be understood is that witchcraft isn't just what you're seeing here. Witchcraft is seances, tarot cards, communications with the dead, all of the things which God forbid in the Old Testament. No, I disagree. Can I finish? Yeah, no. Well, I'll okay. let you talk. Let me talk. All right. Interrupt me. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't want to interrupt you. I just want to be courteous. All right. The fact We're is, the fact is that witchcraft is not just we over a candle and uh, the altar and the bell and the book and all the rest of the things associated with it. Actually, it is a very ancient form of religion which is polytheistic, believing in many gods, was opposed by the law, the prophets, Moses, the apostles, the Lord Jesus Christ. What we are getting here is a modern revival of an old poison with a new label. And it's spiritually, it's spiritually dangerous. I will not abide it. Well, that's the Christian church's position. You well, can disagree. Oh, right. Yes. Now, that, I think, sums it up. But Why would you be so Bible, upset at his negative review of your... Well, We've heard because of the Bible. Well, but he's heard your condemnation of Christianity yeah. well, before. I mean, let's take First Corinthians. Isn't it a shame, really, that we're into this argument and I bickering and fighting? Well, hate why it. hate it? I mean, allow the man to make his point. It's obviously you don't. We're not asked, demanding that then you don't agree reply with him. To it? No, no, no. It's not so much that as it is sort of a. You know, the witches themselves are not getting along with each other. We've got boundaries. Well, w you don't have to be a witch to heal. Um, there's a whole lot of Christian charismatic healers who are doing great work. Whoa, Sorry. stop right there. There is no connection between charismatic Christians who employ God the Holy Spirit and witches who employ all kinds of gods and goddesses. Now, there's just no equation whatsoever. What kind of curses do you put on other people? What kind of curses? Yeah. We don't deal in, in that kind of negativity. We really don't. Um, this, I'm sorry. One of our basic beliefs is, and it harm none, do what you will. And that none includes yourself and includes the psyche of other people. You, you know, know what's uh, fascinating? 
Uh, this is the, you've made this available to us, Religious Requirements and Practices. This is a handbook for chaplains, which is published by the Department of the Army. I don't know, I don't know if it's a current, but, and uh, it's to assist chaplains in the event of uh, tragedy, death uh, of, of one of the troops. And if the troop happens to be a witch, we are ready to take care of them in the service. Uh, the American Council of Witches, there's an explanation of what witchery is, what a wicca is, what a coven is, mm -hmm. and... Uh, what kind of burial is preferred? So, uh, well, the same is true virtually for any well, religious. Yes, group. it is. Yeah. But I, the point is, uh, I think but it's admirable, really, that the United States Army would make it its business to uh, ensure that those who are sincerely devoted to witchery be uh, appropriately accommodated at a moment of uh, crisis. Probably tax deductible too, Phil. You, know. you are literally, you are. I don't think anybody. I think anybody wants to restrict as an American the right of a person to be a witch or practice any other religion they want. Right. What we object to, at least in Christianity and Judaism, is any attempt to make it look as if there's any agreement or that this has not its ground in satanic power. Because Anton LaVey of the First Church of Satan, I think he was on yeah. your program one time. Yeah, long time. He said, and I agree with him, he said, really, there's only witchcraft. He said, black and white is a misnomer. There's only two poles of power. Either it is God or it is the devil. God has nothing to do with witchcraft. Well, we yeah. totally disagree, and we don't oh, yes. get to Give them the opportunity to disagree, yeah. yeah. Is the caller there? Yes, I'm the caller. Yes, go ahead. I thoroughly uh, believe that these people are of the devil, of Satan. Really? I believe in Jesus Christ and God. If they had once mentioned yeah. that Jesus Christ heals. Why don't we it. just, why, uh, do, do they trouble you? Oh, I think it's a disgrace. I well, what's going right. to happen? What will happen? Outside of your baby not being fed uh, while you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, uh, are you praying for these folks? Uh, I pray for everyone. I see. Everyone. Yeah, but you really feel that they are emissaries of the devil. The devil has sent them. Is that it? I believe that. Yeah. Satan. Okay. I appreciate your call. Okay. I thank you. Two valid but different concepts. And Hello. we will only do it with a contract. What, tell me about marriage. Uh, is there a, a requirement or what's that yes. story, briefly? As ministers, we can marry people to each other, but we don't do it unless they can document the fact they've lived together for a year and a day so they can learn the difference between desire and affection. Ah, Two kind of valid but different concepts. And then we will only do it with a contract. Kind of a practical thing. Right. It has we'll a term. It a you expect contract. fidelity during that year and a day, I assume. You don't want promiscuity. Well, that's it's their them. business. I it's see. their business. Uh, how about divorce? Is it hard to get divorced if you're a witch? No, no because we, do. we do a term contract. In yeah. the beginning of a relationship, mm -hmm. when they're still friendly, we write a contract. All right. Since and women's... Then, uh, I'm sorry. Then yeah. it may only last nine years maximum. I see. Yeah, and this, this some of it can be only three years if you serve that. <laughs> right. If they. Yeah. This, this isn't really marriage at all. What it is is openly living uh, promiscuously sexually and then trying to give it legality by mm -hmm. using the word marriage. That's not marriage Are at all. Are you denying the federal marriage. government's right to recognize us as ministers? I, I believe that the federal government, any government, is subject to the laws of God, no matter what you or anybody else says. That's well, the problem, the with, problem that with that, Professor today. Martin, is that not everybody is in agreement on what the laws of God are. Huh? Well, Isn't I, that a... I think that uh, from a standpoint of Judeo-Christian religion, that's the perspective we're talking about. Yeah, yes, yeah. we are. That's you what are. our country was based on. All right. so why... Okay, you've said that you've um, gone through various uh, transformations. Do you feel that you were more effective at one time or another, and do you have any power in your change? Yeah, do you, and do you get better? You always get better. We get always wiser. Get better. We get wiser. Okay, you never come back worse then, huh? Right. No, it's not it's like not the uh, That's encouraging. Thing. Right. It's not a punishment thing. Uh, That's the difference between witchcraft and the Bible. In witchcraft, you do it yourself to get yourself better, and you don't reach up. God reaches down to you because he loves you, and we love the witches, and we pray for them because we want them to know God and his salvation in Christ. Over here. My question is, to question is to the professor. If they have their beliefs to be witches, why would you doubt them or down them? I mean, I'm a Christian. I'm a Baptist. I believe that people should be what they want to be. If they want to be witches or want to lead lives as witches, why not let them be witches and let them believe what they want to believe and you believe what you want to be? That's not right to doubt them. All right. Hey, hey. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's get the record straight. From the earliest days of Christianity, it was the craft, the old witches, 
who were against the Christian gospel. They attacked Christianity. Christianity responded by saying, we are representing God and the Lord Jesus That's Christ. That's why more than 15,000 people me were finished? burned. Oh, well, let's get that one straight, too. Are you, <laughs> are you going to say that Christianity and all Christians have persecuted the witches? Because if you are, some Jews living at the time of Jesus of Nazareth betrayed him. He was crucified. They were responsible for the crucifixion and for what happened to him. Does that make all Jews responsible? No. So all Christians aren't responsible either. I'm sick to death of that old witches. Well, but uh, on the other they, hand, uh, well, is the caller there? Hi. <laughs> Are, are you there? Yes, Phil? Yeah, go ahead. A couple of questions I have that disturb me. I am a practicing Catholic, spent 12 years in a Catholic school. I don't believe in Satan, and I can't give anybody to give me a logical reason. They have told me time and time again that God is all perfect and all loving and all understanding, and he will help you. Then you can't look me in the eye and tell me that there is a Satan. He would not create anything like him. And I don't believe in the Bible. Because the Bible is just... Right. Uh, let, let me just try. Then why did Christ die on the cross? To forgive our sins. Uh, but how did we get the sins? Yeah. Why would he create a hell and a Satan so damnable and evil if he's so good? Oh, wait a minute. Let's, let's get the record straight on that one, too. God didn't create hell for mankind. What God did he cre create it for? Well, let me finish. He created hell for the angels which rebelled. They go there by divine decree. Yeah, but Man, I'm not an angel, so I'm safe then? You go, no, you go there by choice if you go. <laughs> and, uh, Everybody goes there. Yeah. Inc incidentally... No, but you don't, you don't really think there's a lot of people there, do you? I'll tell you what I think. I think <laughs> Jesus Christ was right when he said that there was eternal punishment and he died to save us from it. I right. accept what he had to say. Okay. Now, that's the best reason well, I can think of for believing. I'll bet you, I'll bet you that if you were in charge of who goes and who doesn't go, I bet you'd work it out so nobody wins. But why do you keep saying that I'll Satan is involved with witches? God can't win either way. But why way. would he send somebody there forever and ever and ever? That's they just... send themselves there by yeah. disobedience. You well, can but, either uh, do it by accepting what God has but to say. I, I have a better it. thing. I mean, I feel better about God, thinking about God saying to me, for example, Oh, sure. come on in. Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. I mean, even look, you know, come you're not in. you're come not on. much, but come on in. You know? <laughs> I mean, isn't that isn't that a better sense of what God does? Like, hey, I got something better than that. What is it? God said to Phil one Donahue, point I... almost two thousand yeah. years ago in Jesus <laughs> Christ. It. Come on in. You can come. Well, I know, but it just seems that we don't it just seems that it makes God an awfully stern taskmaster. No, it makes him a just judge. Don't you want to just judge? You know, we're even, hey, we even... Why do all judges have to be male, Phil? Oh, that's a good question. I good mean, question. I think God, it's very yeah. condescending of dear old... To be sure, God, to be sure. God is not male. Where'd you ever get that crazy idea? Well, because you keep saying... God is spirit. Well, well, God, God the God Father. Is, I mean, God, you believe in the Trinity. Really, God the God, Father is... God is spirit, Jesus said. All right. And the terms Father and Son only express his relationship to us. I have a question, if I can. I know, I can't. I mean, I can't. You. What's I your question? You. Doesn't it seem logical? Isn't reincarnation really the answer? Doesn't it seem like a God in heaven would say to you, go back and do it again until you get it right? Yeah. 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 We'll be back in just a moment. The Christian Research Institute, that is the institute which has uh, made it its business to review cults and uh, various religious manifestations, <laughs> he said somewhat delicately, the, uh, because it's hard to talk. And our words are prejudiced often. Post Office Box 500, the address San Juan Capistrano. Shouldn't we all have that address? California 92693. There Are it is. You north or south of Nixon? And I'm pleased to uh, call your attention to <laughs> Professor Martin's book, The Kingdom of the Cults, in which he... Uh, reviews various forms of uh, religious uh, worship in this country and elsewhere. Is the caller there? Yes. Did I understand Professor Martin correctly when he said that our country was based on the Judeo-Christian religion? That is absolutely correct. It has been traced back into virtually all the founding fathers who are either professing Christians or were yeah. in harmony with the Bible. What troubles you about that? 
Well, I do not practice any religion at all. I was brought up Catholic, and I left the church quite a while ago. It bothers me that the professor and people similar to him have a, a more or less know-it-all attitude. They feel that they are right, and, and I really think that they try to push it on those of us who still have an open mind. Do you think it's possible to have a religion without selling it? Yes, we have one. I do. Oh, listen, I want you to understand something. Uh, what you are right now, you are by choice. I'm not trying to well, argue with you. But hear her point. She's yeah. saying that there is nothing in the Constitution which obliges an American to be a religion or, or to be a member of a religion no, or a religious no. person or to believe in God no. or not to believe in I God. I didn't right. say that. Uh, okay, and, but uh, when you say that it was founded on the Judeo-Christian... Uh, it was. It was absolutely. You know, I mean, let's face well, it. I fact. think we had a few Amerindians who might uh, disagree. Look, she wants all the benefits of America which was the product of the Judeo-Christian theology, but well, she doesn't want the theology. Yes, I think it, uh, we can agree that the people who framed the Constitution, many of the folks who framed yes. the Constitution, were influenced by the Judeo-Christian But you've got to be a little careful because a few you do. of them were. You do, yes. Right. Well, on one hand, you say you love them and you pray for yes. the witches, and on the other hand, you're trying to stomp them out. Now, what do no. you want to do for them or to that. them? I didn't say that. Well, this is no, the I'm impression not trying to stomp I'm them out. I say that we as Christians have a right to speak out against witchcraft just as much as they have a right to try and sell it. That's all I'm saying. Well, we agree. If, if, if witchcraft doesn't hurt you, why speak out against it? Why don't you just let it Because God. What are you Because heard? God said in his word that we were supposed to oppose evil. And that's all but I'm God doing. God says you yeah. shan't eat pork, too. Yes. I, no, I want to. No. Yes, he does. You, back back in the, the, you haven't read your newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> <yet. laughs> Services provided and promotional fees paid by the following. The 1980 Ford Mustang. Enjoy the excitement of sports car performance and handling. Mustang, America's most popular sports car. True Value Hardware Stores, where quality, selection, and service are why they're number one. True Value is more than just a name, it's their way of doing business.